Support comes from UT's Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center, featuring miles of trails and nearly 900 native plant species. More about the official Botanic Garden of Texas at wildflower.org. Wow. <laughs> My name is Hervé Franks, and I'm a gardening specialist here at the beautiful Carver Museum. The Carver Museum is dedicated to uh, teaching the beautiful a history of African American culture in Austin, Texas. We have a genealogy center here, uh, and uh, people can come and study their, their family history. One of the programs that we've started here at Carver is we have taken our decommissioned swimming pool that has been vacant for the past 15 years. And uh, we built beautiful garden beds and it's going to be an amphitheater and a place to enjoy music, poetry, uh, exercise classes and a gardening environment. And uh, we want it to be a place where we can bring the people in our community, they can walk around the museum, but also be able to experience horticulture. Show kids where food comes from and that, you know, they can grow things that they, their parents would have been buying at the grocery store. And it's gonna taste even better than the grocery store, I think. And I want to show kids that if you can take a tiny seed and turn it into a giant sunflower, that is truly magic. I used to garden with my grandparents who were farmers back in the 50s and 60s in uh, Caldwell County. And my grandfather and my grandmother we're doing farm to table from the 70s until the 80s. My grandmother had a cafe on uh, Airport Boulevard called Ruby's Kitchen. And my grandfather and her had a farm, which they still do, they're deceased now, but uh, they had a farm in Dale, Texas, St. John Colony, which is an original colony, an African-American freedman's colony that was established in 1872. And um, that's where I grew up in that community. and. Um, I didn't realize that as a child, it would have such an impact on me and that as an adult, I be became a master gardener because I wanted to continue to teach gardening and uh, that's what I do here at Carver. I want to teach kids how to take seeds, plant them, and be able to feed themselves and their community. I remember when I was uh, six or seven years old and I was uh, going to kindergarten here and we took a walk to um, our genealogy center which was the original Carver uh, Museum back in the 60s and I, I've never forgot that. And so now to be back in my community gardening and uh, I want, I, I think I can make a difference uh, and, and hopefully I'll get some kids that will be the next uh, future gardeners of America, you know, pass it on. Our curator of this museum is Mr. Kerry Adams, and this has been one of his visions to bring this pool back to life, and uh, that is uh, how I got to the carver. I would not have been able to do this alone. I have a partner, his name is Greg Farrar. He is an excellent master builder, and he came in and he built all the beautiful garden beds, our beautiful arbor, the railings. I started garden August, late August uh, 2021, so it's been about eight months. And uh, I'm about to go from the fall collards and lettuce and, and things like that and, and plant some corn and squash and different things. It's a test garden. Uh, it's a garden to give people examples uh, whenever people visit the garden, I encourage them to touch, taste, uh, take vegetables home. Uh, when we have kids, we might have 20, 30 kids come for a workshop or to help volunteer. Uh, when they help in the garden, uh, I give them bags. We go, we cut vegetables, we wash them. We get them to take it home so they can go make a salad with what they were able to help grow. When we have an event, um, I can make salads or a beautiful lemonade. That's what I love to do. I can take a beautiful sunflower arrangement for art exhibit. Uh, I want to have things on site that we can use that we don't have to purchase. What I'm very excited about, uh, Greg Farrar, our builder, 
just uh, built about six or seven new beds and we're going to, going to start a cultural heritage garden uh, where I'm going to be planting uh, things from Africa, uh, yams, okra, I'm going to do Native American glass corn, and in uh, tribute to George Washington Carver, I'm going to be growing peanuts. My grandfather, that, the farm that I have now, was his a peanut farm. And I remember picking peanuts, digging them up when I was a kid, but I have not seen a peanut in like 50 years, you know, growing from the ground. So I cannot wait to do that. And I want to be able to take my gardening uh, class is going to teach summer youth gardening here, here at Carver and take them out on field trips and show them what a historic African-American farm community is like. Uh, show them how to take, you know, seeds, plant a garden, but then also bring it back to the city. I love container gardening. I love raised bed gardening. If people are not into uh, starting from scratch and having to do a lot of deep digging, I suggest uh, using some uh, untreated wood because you don't want any wood that has any chemicals uh, as a border. And uh, I suggest also to get familiarized with uh, the rock yards and dirt yards. You can do it a lot cheaper than bags. And so that's what we did. And uh, I like to use a nice organic soil. And then we came in with compost. I am big on collecting seeds, so as my lettuce starts to bolt, I'm gonna harvest the seeds, my onion seeds, my chives yesterday, I'm gonna uh, harvest seeds from my uh, oregano. Anytime we have leftover vegetables and things from an event, I do uh, try to propagate seeds, and I, I love to experiment and see what I can get away with. I forgot to make, mention one of my favorite organizations, uh, uh, Central Texas Mycology, uh, Angel Swartz, uh, she uh, has um, mushroom spores that they donate to our community in East Austin. And we have started a mushroom installation here, as well as a, a worm composting installation. And so in the fall, we, uh, we're inoculating the mushrooms now. Hopefully we're gonna be able to have about five different varieties of culinary mushrooms. We have lion's mane, portobello. I'm trying to get some morels if anybody wants to do donate some morel spores. We have a wonderful groups of different volunteers that come and help us. Some of the volunteers have been the Carver Ambassadors come and help us sometimes. We've had Westlake High School. Uh, next month we're going to have the AmeriCorps Vistas come visit the garden. People are interested in taking horticultural classes, just feel free to call the Carver Museum. One of the most exciting moments was uh, we had a group of teenagers that were uh, coming to volunteer and not many of them I always asked, you know, what's your experience in gardening? And, and, and uh, a lot of them had zero experience. But after they came, I put them in, like some were composting, some were harvesting, some were planting seeds, some were watering. We had about 20 different kids. I broke them into groups of five. And what brought me so much joy is like, I, I got scissors and we were able to, they were able to go and pick and harvest vegetables and, and, and the herbs and taste the lemon balm and taste the mint. And, and uh, this one young teenager had her little bag and she's like, it's just so much I can do with this. And it made me so happy to know that she was gonna take this bag that she was excited about, about home to her kitchen. That made my whole summer. That if I made an impact on that, that one child, that she wants to be that excited about food. That's why I'm here.